Any software engineer knows you won't crank out perfect code every time. No matter how sharp your skills or rigorous your testing, a few bugs are bound to slip through the cracks every now and then. But bugs don't have to bring you down. With a clear reporting and tracking process in place, your team can detect and debug issues quickly so your software gets back on track with minimal downtime and customer frustration. Before we dig into the nitty gritty details of bug reporting, let's talk about what it is. A bug report is basically the roadmap you give to your developers to help them get to the bottom of a software issue, like broken functionality or a feature that doesn't display properly, and fix it. You might submit a bug report through a formal ticketing system or project management tool. That way your team can take the report and track the issue all the way through to resolution. Organizing and prioritizing issues lays a clear path to resolution for your team. Use these categories as your guide to ensure your bug tracker is easy to follow, whether you use a project management tool or even a simple Google Sheet to log software defects. The first thing you'll want to do is organize bug reports by issue status. That way, there's no question about where each issue stands in the resolution process, and the team can see every bug through to its fix. Most software development teams sort issues into these four categories. Open, these are newly submitted or ongoing bugs that haven't been addressed yet. In progress, these are issues that are actively being worked on by the team. On hold, these are bugs that the team started investigating but can't move forward on just yet, whether it's because more info is required or other work needs to get done before the issue can be fixed. And closed, these are issues that have been fully resolved by the team. Got a feature that's particularly buggy? If you know it's going to take multiple fixes to work out the kinks, consider organizing bugs into feature subgroups within each status category. Adding this extra layer of structure to your bug tracker provides a helpful visual aid for your team so they can tackle related issues faster. The final piece of the bug tracker puzzle is the bug itself. Each issue should be documented with a detailed bug report. Let's take a closer look at the elements of a good bug report. A good bug report gives software developers a clear picture of the problem so they can resolve the issue more quickly. Here are a few must-haves that make up the pillars of any standard bug report. The first thing you'll want to do is give that bug a name. Keep it short and sweet with just enough detail to tell your software engineering team what's happening and what feature or functionality is affected. It's also important to explain how you uncovered the defect in the first place. Consider these questions. Does the issue happen sporadically, or can you duplicate it? And if the bug is reproducible, what steps does it take to recreate it? The more details here, the better. When you can duplicate an issue, it's easier to find the cause. Now, your mom may have told you to shake coulda, woulda, shoulda from your vocabulary, but this line of thinking is exactly what you need in bug reporting. Write down what should have happened when you took the steps that set the bug into action. Now that you've laid out your expectations clearly, it's time to describe the reality in all its ugly, buggy detail. Remember, a picture's worth a thousand words, so attach a screenshot or screen capture of the issue to help your team pinpoint a resolution faster. If you really want to throw your dev team a solid, give them some additional info to work with. These extras can help your software engineers get to the root of the problem faster and figure out where the fix fits into the rest of their priorities. Next, document any environment details. This is just a fancy way of saying, where does the bug live and hide? Here's how to point the way so your developers can hunt the defect down more quickly. Ask, which browsers are affected? Is the problem happening on certain devices? And what operating system were you or the customer using? Knowing how many customers the bug impacts and even what it's potentially costing you helps your software engineering team determine the severity of the issue. That way, they can prioritize the fix appropriately. The browser console gives developers a behind the scenes look at the web app in action. Once you're in it, you can take a screenshot of any errors you see logged in your console and attach it to your bug report. 
Every software development project comes with its own unique set of challenges, bugs included. But that doesn't mean you can't establish a smooth or consistent process for resolving issues. With our free bug report and issue tracking template, you can log and track bugs easily in one place without spending tons of time on setup. Plus, with access to great features like a drag and drop interface, task scheduling, file sharing, team collaboration, reporting, and multiple views, you'll be able to level up your bug squashing power. How do you plan to use bug reporting and issue tracking in your projects? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, I'd love it if you would return the favor and hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.